Well, what's your feeling of of say let's let's talk about tubes versus transistors in analog uh, components? What's your what's your feeling about how each one sounds? Uh, difficult subject, Scott. You know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ask the hard questions uh, on this you show. Do. You do. <laughs> um, I of course have heard both sound amazingly good and both sound amazingly bad, mm. and. Um, you know, there's a there's a lot to uh, the topology of good sounding uh, tube and, and transistor circuitry. You can use FETs, for example, and MOSFETs and make things that are tube like, uh, and vice versa. And mm. sometimes they're successful, and sometimes they're not. And there's guys that are really really good at it. Uh, um, guys and gals, actually, some really good engineers that, who can make tubes sound great. And there's some that can make solid state stuff sound great. And unfortunately, not everybody's successful with it each time they try. Mm -hmm. And so the reputation of the technology might be based more on the ability of the designer than on the technology itself. Sure. I mean, we can all cite companies who have had you know a fabulous run of great products of a particular type, let's say all tube. And then there's one that isn't so good. You know, and they may follow it up with a better one or a worse one, or you know, it's mm. it's it just comes down to paying attention to all the details and and making sure you know I's and T's are dotted and crossed, and maybe you go back to some earlier thoughts that you know worked and and uh, develop them more rather than going off on some other direction. Mm -hmm. Sandman in the chat room is saying Nelson Pass of Pass Labs has been buying up discontinued parts. Uh, much like uh, Constellation has, I, I guess. I guess, yeah. There are a few. There are a few of us that have been um, seeking some, some of the same parts. In fact. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I can. I could. I'm now imagining, you know, a Black Friday sale where Nelson Pass and you and some other people are fighting over the last remaining transistors. <laughs> right. little, little bidding wars here and there. Yes. Right. Right. <laughs> Right, exactly. Um, well, okay, another question regarding analog versus digital mm -hmm. then. Well, before I get, before I get to that, I, I wanted to make, mention one more thing about tubes, uh, which is that there is some inherent difference that I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, that tubes uh, tend to introduce even order harmonic distortion, whereas semiconductors tend not to am i correct about that or not you know yes it, it there are characteristics that are different in the distortions of the two devices but you can overcome each of them with mm. other design other design criteria mm -hmm. um, i mean i have i have sitting in my listening room right now um, a hybrid tube and solid state amplifier. So it's got a tube front end and a solid state back end. Mm -hmm. um, and it is part of my listening rotation when I want to hear something that I thought sounded really good from a few years ago. Um, and I have a, an all tube preamp, in fact, that sometimes goes into the system to compare to. It, it's There are standards, I think, that we consider um, that we've we've heard over our careers that we've thought have done an incredibly good job, and sometimes you got to go back to those and say, "Gee, what what was it I liked about that?" And mm -hmm. can I get that sound another way? Right, uh, because so I, I, my <clears throat> my impression is that the people who like tubes, who like the sound of tube equipment, I should say, uh, maybe are liking. They often refer to it as warm, a warm sound, which again is this even order harmonic distortion, which mm -hmm. is the sec second harmonic, fourth harmonic, sixth harmonic, the even numbered uh, harmonics. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess I've even heard of, of, for example, in the recording studio, people using tube preamps or amplifiers that then end up being digitized, but that also digitizes that warm sound. So mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I, I can see how, you know, combining the two technologies could get you to 
basically wherever you want to go. Right, right. And, you know, there's even theories about how the ratios of second, fourth, sixth, et cetera, mm -hmm. um, sh should be to each other to get particular sounds. Mm. Mm. Well, and there are people, I'm sure, who are looking carefully into that. <laughs> there are. There are.